Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the third module of OOP and the main questions are these as you can see in the screen. I've collected six questions and mainly it is regarding the error handling, try-catch, exception, inheritance as well as the various levels of access protections. So before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this. Fine. So let's get started. The first main question is what is access protection? Access protection means something is there, you don't want your friend to access it, you will protect it obviously, right? That is called as access protection, same as uh, classes and object in classes some uh, data members are private it cannot be accessed right so that how do you implement it that is known as access protection and there are different levels for it okay how do you implement those levels and what are the uh, significance of packages that's uh, another important question like they can explicitly ask uh, about the packages in the subscription a uh, separate question as well so you need to know very thorough with that so you can watch the theory video in that I have explained all the key points what you need to write an exam so make sure you know that and um, write that in exam with the question as uh, if the question comes okay next one is explain uh, exception handling in java what is exception handling that you need to know how do you handle it why do you need to handle it if you don't handle what will happen and what is its syntax how do you implement the function for it all these things you need to know diving deep into that we have try catch and finally clause also what are the significance of each of these when do you use it when do uh, you have to uh, write finally what happens if you don't write finally all these things are uh, discussed in uh, depth a very super important question a to z it's in the theory video you can watch that okay moving on we have what is inheritance super important concept you need to know super class and subclass how do you implement it using classes and objects next we have compare and contrast method overloading and method overriding another super important question with example you have to give write the two classes and show what is function overloading what is function overriding overloading comes under the main topic of what polymorphism overloading comes in what polymorphism because you are using the same function in two different contexts differently that is nothing but polymorphism overriding always remember it is in the inheritance so you're inheriting a, a class from another class if there is any function defined you are uh, editing that function here that is called as overriding repeating again there is a class you are inheriting another class if there is a function defined here you are uh, inheriting it and editing in the subclass that is called as what overriding fine so if this is um, if you remember this one 50 percent of the task is done you can easily go through the notes to get to know the main concept next we have uh, develop a program to show the use of super keyword a very very important what is the significance of super keyword when it is used and what uh, what happens when you use it and what is the syntax of it and uh, why is there a significance of super keyword what it does what are its um, scope when it should not be used all those key uh, concepts are discussed a to z in the theory video you can watch that so that's all for module three in this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one